welcome back to my channel and this is the last video of 2019 this is wild I can't believe it's been like another year um, I am going to be doing a video in 2020 January 2020 recapping my top 10 songs of 2010s I was doing that for the beginning of this year um, I started doing 80s 90s and early 2000s goth songs so I think it's appropriate at the end of a decade we should do that but today it's not that it's something I have been hoarding for a fair few months now I actually ordered all of these things the beginning of autumn time is now winter I have had them for over a couple of months now I just happened to not film this video yet then I moved it's been a whole thing I was gonna do some thrift flipping of some New Year's Eve Christmas stuff I might still do but to be honest I don't know where anything is still after the move um so that might happen next year but this year we have um well, the end of this year we have a little video. I was given a £30 coupon for Amazon at work. I won a competition, so I won some money, uh, and I ordered a goth outfit worth um, £30. I have got clips of me actually picking these out from when I was in my old house. I've Sitting at work, obviously doing my job, um, I came up with the idea of trying to put together a gothic outfit on Amazon for under 30 quid. Um, but as I have a £30 literally from my company and it expires at, I think it's six months from now, I'm going to use it. And I have Amazon Prime that I pay for, so I'm going to use that as well. So let's put together a gothic outfit on Amazon for under 30 quid. I'm not sure if I'm gonna include shoes in this because shoes are expensive, like 30 quid expensive. So I'm gonna see if I can get something and if I can get shoes in the budget, I will. If not, I'm gonna pair my, my shoes I have here. I want to decide if I want to do a dress or if I want to do two pieces or what. Uh, I normally wear two pieces, let's start with tops. Let's go for the black. I don't have an idea of what I want to do, it depends on what is cheap. So it's starting to look like I won't be able to prime this stuff, so I'm going to see if I can find it any cheaper and hopefully I can.
on. Most things still in their packaging except for these thermal tights which I have actually worn so much. Um, so I'm gonna start off by reviewing these. These are the first thing to come. Um, they are more tights than leggings. I thought they were leggings but they're more tights than leggings. They're really really warm. Uh, a little bit too warm sometimes but they're really nice and warm. They're really long so if you are taller they'll work brilliant for you if you are not five foot two. I have to cuff mine a little bit, but they are super comfy for the price I paid them for and the speed they arrive with. I'm really chuffed with these, and I probably will get more. Next up is the dress slash jumper. I got this in a three X, and I do believe I think it's because the sizing was really small. Um, but let's. So my first impression of it is that it's actually really really soft. Um, that's the hood. It is kind of sheer. I'm not sure how well you guys can see how sheer that is. I think this might end up being a little bit too big for me, but we'll make it work. And then this is the the front. Um, and it's gonna be super duper long on me as well because I'm actually quite short. So I'm really excited to wear that. I also ordered a belt. Now this belt didn't arrive on the allocated time. I messaged Sarah that I got a refund, and then it literally came the next day. Um, but I was waiting for weeks after this was said to be delivered for it to arrive, so, yeah. But it's actually a really, really pretty belt, I'm going to just get this out. And honestly guys, for the life of me, I can't remember how much I paid for this stuff, so I will have it linked. Okay, it's nice and stretchy. The This is really pretty, and it kind of hooks together. I'm hoping this uh, helps me not look so chunky in this dress because it's, it's huge. I don't actually finish just the size completely on that, but I got it out. And then last but not least, I got a necklace. This arrived pretty speedily. Everything arrived pretty fast, just the belt that I was wearing for for ages. Um, but it's already in the package for a really small necklace, so that did confuse me a little bit. But this is the necklace. I think I don't remember how much I paid for this, but it's really nice. It's got this like sun, um, this moon going around motif. It could be a little bit better um, pressed or cast, but I think for the price I paid for it, it's pretty decent. And that's what it looks like. So I'm gonna get this all on and then we're gonna see how it looks, so. So guys, I've put the outfit on. Um, the dress is actually really long, it's like floor length, and I'm five two. Um, so if you're sure this will really work. I did get it too big, can confirm my boyfriend fits into this. So I've got a feeling that I'm not going to be keeping this for very long. Um, <laughs> but I do feel like I'm from Star Wars. That's what we, we were both saying, like, this is like a Star Wars, this is like a bad guy, <laughs> like Darth Vader kind of vibe going on. Other than feeling like I'm from Star Wars, this is really comfy. Um, if I'd have known the leggings were sheer, I wouldn't have bought them. I think I should have probably paid attention to the description. This would look really cool with her leather look leggings or her pattern leggings as well because of how um, plain the like dress is. I will say there are a few seams that are threading um, that haven't been finished properly. Um, the hem it's got some threading seams but I think overall this is a really cute outfit. Um, I like the length of it in the front and the kind of drapiness of the skirt and it has a hood. The hood isn't huge um, but well, it's, it's, it's kind of big but it's just not huge. Um, and I really like the belt as well, it does the job, it's really cinchy, it, does, it feels like pretty substantial like it's going to hold together um, and the necklace it it's cheap, I've got a feeling it'll probably turn green eventually, but you can always put nail polish on it. Um, I wouldn't recommend getting cheap jewellery in general. If you can, go, go to like Silver, um, Smiths, or if you go on Etsy, there's a lot of people who sell jewellery very similar to this, that actually be your silver. Um, same with this dress, I'm sure you can get this a bit much higher quality. But for the purposes of this video, if you're on a tight budget, you only have 30 quid to spend on an Amazon account, this outfit is pretty decent. I'm pairing this with some Uggs, um, fake Uggs that I got for a camp a while back and I haven't taken off my feet. Um, and I was going to get them to go with this outfit, but I couldn't afford it in the budget, so I'm going to add that as a freebie on top. Um, so I'm assuming you already have a comfy pair of shoes you're going to wear with this outfit anyway. I think it'll look really cool with big chunky boots, with soft boots. Um, for the purposes of my life, I'm going with regular boots, so let's go. I'm mean, just going to Asda, there's nothing fancy about this outfit, but let's go. Like Christmas tree, like Christmas tree. Such festive. <laughs> okay, so Ox are on. Um, I got a big hoodie on because we're going to Asda, it's cold outside.
So the seam here has become completely unstitched. Um, so that's not great. This one's still intact, but this one is like completely out. So let me fix that. Plus the line's real harsh. So. So now it's time for my final thoughts on this outfit. It is now like 7 at night and I've been wearing it since 10 this morning. There's been a rather long time I've been wearing this outfit. It's not a huge amount. There's been a long time, long time I've been wearing this outfit. Um, one thing I did notice is that the stitching on this sleeve came undone when I went into Weatherspoons, which is a pub, bar, restaurant kind of place in the UK. Um, so I have to fix that. This one has been fine. Um, and I noticed that the leggings kept on riding down on me. I think it's just a case of I didn't get the right size. I think I could have got a size smaller, but then it might not fit my butt, so question mark. The belt does its job, it's really, really comfy, it fits really nicely, it adds the whole look. The necklace I haven't had an issue with all day. Um, so I thought it's been a pretty good success. Um, I think if you're going to spend £30 on an outfit and you only have Amazon to go to, this is a really cool outfit to choose. I I'd like, I like this dress for how much it cost me. I do think you can get one on Amazon that is slightly better made. I know it comes in a variety between colours and styles, um, but if you're willing to do a little bit of workmanship yourself, then I'd say go for it. Um, and maybe you might even be able to find a version on Etsy that's handcrafted, that might be a bit more quality than this, might be, a bit, might be more expensive. It would be a bit more quality and less fast fashion-y. But I just plan on repairing this and keeping this for the forecoming future. The leggings are super duper warm. I'm wearing them all the time, especially under skirts as it's like winter time now. The necklace is really, really cute. I'm going to have to put some uh, clear nail polish in the back so from going green. And the belt is definitely going to be added to my collection. It's just a nice stretchy belt and I think it will fit a variety of sizes. For reference, I am a UK size 12 or 14. My waist is 32 inches. My hips slash booty is 43 inches and I am about I think it's 38 around the bust um so that might help with sizing this fits like a men's XL and my boyfriend fits in it and he is typically a men's XL so I think if you are a men's XL or you fit in men's XL clothing this 3x will be a good size for you I think this was the largest they did so if you are of a bigger size this might not work excellently for you but I'm pretty sure you can find it elsewhere on the internet in a better size range. Um, but that is it for me guys. Before I go, I do want to say I do have a Patreon now. Um, after a while I've been on YouTube, I thought I would finally start one up. I used to have one a very long time ago that I kind of used. Um, I never really did anything on it and I never really got any Patreons on it. But now that I am more established and I'm monetized, I'm actually taking it more seriously. Um, I think I will start posting over on my Patreon. I've tried to have three different tiers of like, like pretty affordability. So there's two pound or two dollar fifty tier. There was a five dollar tier and there was a nine ten ten dollar tier. I think it's ten dollars ten dollars tier. Um, I'm not sure how much it's in pounds, but. On the general, I think that's going to be a pretty good spectrum of monies and I'll be releasing videos early on there, there's a bunch of other benefits I hope to be having going up over there. Um, so let me know down below if there are any other benefits you would like to see. Until Jan February, I think, I think it's mid, I think it is mid-February. Uh, any Patreon subscribers that joins during that time, I am sending handwritten postcards to. Um, so I would love to like see you guys head over there. And if you can't donate, don't worry. You view my videos, commenting, sharing the videos is more than enough help the channel needs. I understand Patreon if you have the funds and if you want to go support me over there. If you have the money, please don't do it. I don't want you to bankrupt yourself or cause yourself extra issue just because I have a Patreon. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. It is really late and I'm really tired. Um, so I'm not really...
myself today but so safe and stay dark and i'll see you guys next week's video no i'll see you guys next year even i'll see you next year that's pretty weird. i will see you guys next year bye